I'm testing the Little B Forum 1 ESC here, and I did a quick test where I just gave it some voltage, made sure it powered up, made sure all the magic smoke was contained within the all the chips still, and indeed it is. No magic smoke, and so I figured, well, that wasn't very exciting, so what else can we check? So let's check the BEC on it. So I hooked up these wires and I have these going up to the oscilloscope, which is showing 4.96 volts. And then I also have some wires going here and around here up to my EK Precision electronic load tester, which is showing 9.54 volts compared to the 4.96 volts. Uh, that's pretty darn close. So I'm good with that. And then if we look here, the time sampling here is 100 nanoseconds. And uh, not seeing any noise. Didn't expect to. So very clean. But hey, we hooked this up for a reason. Let's put some load on it. 100 milliamps. We're now at 9.28 volts. Let's go up to 200 milliamps. 9, 4.9 volts. Interestingly enough, this is showing 4.96 volts still. So, um, I don't know why that is. I don't think I'm getting that much voltage drop on these cables. These are pretty good quality cables, but we'll see. All right, half an amp. 4.8 volts. Uh, that's a little low for just half an amp. I mean, if you're drawing, if you're using this to drive some LEDs, um, I don't know if that would be really good for me. Huh. So now I'm curious. All right, bear with me a second. I'm going to break out the multimeter. Sorry for all the shake. And I'm not going to be able to do this. Well, maybe. All right, multimeter shows 4.836. This shows 4.81. So, yeah, two hundredths of a volt drop. So, yeah, that's wrong. But, hey, an oscilloscope is not a multimeter. So, that's resolved. So let's crank up this more. This is supposed to be rated for half or one amp, I believe. So, at 0.8 amps, 4.7 volts. That's, uh, that's not real good. And yeah, that's that's hot. I can't hold my hand on that too long. That's pretty damn hot. 